who's ready for an unhinged trip through science news today? So it turns out squirrels are significantly more carnivorous than we thought. California squirrels were documented not only hunting animals, but roughly half of their diet is made up from hunting interactions, primarily on voles. Now you have to understand, very few things are truly carnivores or truly herbivores, but roughly half of their diet is pretty darn shocking because we thought they were herbivores. You may see a deer munching on all sorts of critters, including potentially humans. Look, grass is not particularly nutrient rich. A deer may not be adapted to hunting regularly, but if it has the option, it'll eat you. Probably not alive, okay? Now, when I was a kid, there was a squirrel in our yard that was hunting birds, and it really disturbed my mother. Our neighbor happened to have been the sheriff. So she called animal control, they laughed at her, so she knocked on the neighbor's door, he walked over, and that squirrel lunged for him. At least that is the story he told. Because that squirrel was not rabid, but it ended up in 50,000 pieces all over the yard. Now what I'm waiting for is the reckoning that is going to come for pandas. Supposedly, pandas eat 99% of their diet in bamboo. However, studies of the stuff that comes out of the other end would suggest they eat a significant amount of meat. We keep finding pandas gnawing on the leftovers of animals and even attacking other animals to find their way into their exhibit. I am betting we're going to find out that pandas are so bad at reproducing in captivity because we're not feeding them the correct diet. Mark my words on that. As for some perusing of science news, life can evolve in multiple directions, even backwards. Study says, no, it doesn't. Evolution does not have a direction, therefore it cannot go backwards. If humans perish, octopuses already have the chops to build the next civilization, scientists claims. No. A mere version of life could pose a threat to life on Earth. Okay, let's talk about this. I've been asked about it a lot. All of the molecules in our body have right-handedness and left-handedness, and they are evolved around that. Our DNA happens to be right-handed. This is just referring to the way the helix bends. We would call this chirality. Our bodies and everything on this planet it's built around directionality of these molecules. If there is one in another direction, chances are it just won't interact with us at all. There is no threat. Lastly, let's just end on a light note. Beans are more nutritious if sprouted. That's just because it's more available to your body. Things like seeds, nuts, and beans are designed to make it through your body intact. This is a dispersal method. Turns out fish are also more nutritious if sprouted. Yes, that's right. Fish eggs can make it through a duck completely intact and disperse themselves into new ponds of water. This is why you'll see little streams and little ponds with little fish in them. It also means it's virtually impossible to get rid of invasive fish. Fish are more nutritious if sprouted. <laughs>